Hello, my name is Jamal Malik, and in this video, we're gonna talk about implementing best-in-class business processes and technology. As we get into this, we'd like to mention, this is one of three themes we see reoccurring within the aerospace and industrial manufacturing sub-industry within Canada. As we talk about this theme, we also wanna take a second and talk about why, in terms of business context, this is important. Let's start by talking about what the primary goal of many of these organizations are. These organizations wish to deliver maximum value for their shareholders while growing organically by providing outstanding solutions and expanding to new markets. Currently, there are four investments being made to achieve this goal. One, driving greater strategic diversification, pushing for further globalization, strategic and discipline acquisitions, and then lastly, digitizing through machine learning and artificial intelligence. As a part of this investment, there are six outcomes that all organizations wish to drive, some of which include improving product quality, improving cash flow and revenue and operating income, improving working capital, diversifying the product portfolio, increasing their global footprint, and then lastly, improving operational effectiveness. Now, as it relates to implementing best-in-class processes and technology and driving innovation and efficiencies, we found that two projects seems to reoccur the most. Number one is driving towards a global, integrated, and consistent source of information, and also utilizing sensors to drive product design improvements and enabling product operational improvements through telematics. Within this theme, there are a primary few areas of focus. The primary focus within this theme includes improving equipment performance based on availability, actual use time, performance efficiency, and output quality set over a number of hours. By using the T metric, organizations can measure how well they gain value from assets and pinpoint the areas where biggest improvements can be made. Within the Dynamics 365 portfolio include a number of features, functions, and product capability that allow organizations to identify potential machine issues, prevent downtime, and increase product quality and yield before issues occur using IoT. Improving worker performance with interactive solutions using mixed reality and performing production planning in real time with planning optimizations are just a few of those features. With me is Joyce LaFleur, who's now going to take the floor and actually walk through a few of these features within the Dynamics 365 environment. Thank you, Jamal. When we take a look at the asset management capabilities of Dynamics 365, it is an embedded module as part of the overall Dynamics 365 finance and supply chain suite of capabilities that addresses the entire life cycle of asset management from acquisition through to management, maintenance, as well as retirement of assets. Furthermore, the asset management functionality embedded within Dynamics 365 supply chain also has integration to other capabilities within the Dynamics 365 portfolio, such as field service, customer service, and it also leverages other investments that Microsoft has made onto the platform, such as mixed reality. And it also leverages investments in the Microsoft platform, such as mixed reality and IoT hub integration. So now let's take a look at the product. Playing the role of the asset maintenance director, I have a dedicated workspace within my Dynamics 365 for supply chain management application. When I click on my dedicated workspace, it provides me with visibility to asset utilization across the entire organization. It allows me visibility as well as information to quickly act and respond to asset related issues. I have visibility to active maintenance requests, uh, at my fingertips, my current uh, maintenance request. I also have an embedded analytics workspace. 
within this embedded analytics workspace, I have interactive dashboards. In this example, showing me requests based on traits, requests by type, rather it is a breakdown type request, a corrective actions request. As I drill down upon one visual, I have an integrated view across other dimensions as well. I can also filter the active maintenance requests and insights based on type of assets, as well as request type as well. So now I can have a good understanding of maintenance related activities and asset utilization capabilities across the organization. I also have another tab that will show me maintenance request details and drill into those appropriately should I need to. So now I'm gonna show you how important it is and the capabilities around mo mobile workspace and mobile management of assets with Dynamic 365 for supply chain management. So within my mobile, I have a dedicated app for finance and supply chain management. And I also see the asset management workspace targeted at technicians. Within this workspace, I have visibility to all of my active functional locations, my active maintenance assets that I'm in charge of, as well as all of the maintenance requests that have been dispatched to me, maintenance work orders that I need to work on, as well as any additional work orders um, that I need to generate. I can click on the tile as it relates to all of the maintenance work orders and I can see a list of all of the work orders that are applicable to my role, such as corrective action type work order, safety type work order, preventative maintenance type work order. I can see the current life cycle state associated with each of those work orders, and I can drill into the details of each of those work orders and take appropriate actions. This allows a technician to respond very quickly, act accordingly, for predictive maintenance requests, collaborate and resolve maintenance issues on a timely basis.